right, starting out at Razzle Dazzle. It looks good, but I hope there's a name for me. I don't see anything labeled for me, so we'll have to see. But yeah, it looks very good. I mentioned to the host that I was gluten free, but we'll see. Since we're not able to pre order. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but it's, a, it's a cool place. It's kind of a cool place. All right, so Claire got ordered the tuna tartare and I got the pork belly, but Claire got the pork belly too. So I'm excited. This is actually the first time we're going to eat on this ship <laughs> since we uh, had lunch at the hotel. Is that what you had the bourbon? It's good. Cinnamon, vanilla. Fried dinner's here. I got the fried chicken. And Claire got bread. Yeah. What's that sauce on it? I don't know. Hmm. Looks pretty good, but do you enjoy the appetizers? Oh, the appetizers are so good. The uh, so pork good. belly was ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very impressed. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, so I got the rum apple cake for dessert. There we got a creme brulee. Yeah. Her favorite. Yeah, so, there you go. Try it. Try the it. best part of try freezing. It. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, so, this is the best bet of mine. Scenario. So. Good? Better than Royal? Bag. Thank you. Um, Maybe. Oh, no. Oh, great. Thank you oh very no. <laughs> so much loyalty there. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Today is our first full day with Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. We have docked in Key West, Florida, and we are having brunch at the Wake. So we've just put our orders in, and uh, the food should be coming shortly. That was super quick, but I got the clam chowder, and then Claire got a fiddle salad. Yes, it's delicious. So that was really quick. Yes. Yeah. Which is great. All right, food's here. I got the wake, which, which is, is the pork belly, pork belly benedict. Pork belly. And then Claire got the avocado benedict. Yes. So, yeah. Looks good. I'm excited. I'm excited about this because we had the pork belly last night and it was freaking awesome. But that was at a uh, Razzle Dazzle. <laughs> Key lime pie time. That's what Claire's wanted to do. Uh oh, what'd you get? Hey. <laughs> Whoa, what does that say? Yippee. Pie. <laughs> That's pretty funny, actually. Oh, we got a key lime pie at Kermit's. Yes. The OG. So I don't know if it's the OG, but it's been around for 30 years. That's um, a long time. It's a cute little store, little it shop. Is. A lot of key lime merchandise. <laughs> yeah. And the taste test. Gluten free for Claire. It's super sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Nice. So, what you think? It was super sweet. <laughs> so, mine was really good. It was good. It's probably the best key lime pie I've ever had. Um, I was expecting it to be more tart, but it was not. Yeah, I actually got more of a like lemonade flavor out of it than lime. Mm, mm. It was very good. Kermit's. Yeah. I don't remember where we're at too. What's because we're is, not on Duval Street. No, this is Caroline Street, I believe. Which is oh, sorry, Elizabeth. It's on Elizabeth Street, at the corner of Elizabeth and Green. Which was like. I don't know, maybe a block away from that Papa's Polar tasting yes. that we just yeah. came from. So, quick little walk. Yeah, everything's been, at least that we've seen, has been very walkable. Everything's walkable here. I mean, it's a much larger island than what we've seen. You can't walk the whole island. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very nice, a nice 
uh, leisurely stroll. Yep. Luckily, the weather's nice too. Yes, we've been definitely enjoying that. Gally, are you gonna get tacos? Yeah, I think so. Looks good. It does look good. Taco bar? Check yeah. It out. I may get a burger and fries. Didn't get that on embarkation day. That's true. Uh, definitely getting a burger. They even have the impossible burger. Look at this. Looks like they even prepare it fresh too. End up looking like that. Oh, that's cool. This is really cool. There it is, guys. A cheeseburger and fries. Man, those fries look really good. I mean, wow. And then Claire got some tacos. Check that out. So all looks pretty good. Got a cool little view of where we just spent all morning. So pretty cool place. Pretty cool place. I think Claire brought some water too. Did you get the did you get the infused water? Yeah. Cucumber. Cucumber? Alright. Claire found a gluten free dessert as we're walking towards the coffee bar. And she looks excited. I am excited. I saw it and I'm like, oh, it looks really good. And I just kept looking at it. And then I asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> and we got flat whites. Yeah. Flat white. So you got one with oat milk. Well, I... that was loud. That was loud. Too. That looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. Good. It's like a fancy Rice Krispie treat. Oh, <laughs> well, good. Okay. Well, all the desserts look good, actually. I was just too full to get one. Yeah. Done with gambe. That was good. It was delicious. Korean barbecue, but hibachi style, basically. Yeah, we had a hard time filming in there. Um, but for starters, Michael got the noodles and I had the the rice, which the rice was kind of like a stir fry, but the the egg wasn't actually cooked with the rice. It was on it was a, a whole broken up egg with a slightly runny yolk that kind of mm. coated the rice really well. It's very delicious. I know Michael enjoyed the noodles. Yeah, and then I got that bowl too. Yes. There was an extra one. So <laughs> he's like, I know you like this. And our, our waiter was Filipino too, so. And then um, we also got the seaweed and rice chips, which were delicious. Yeah, those were surprisingly very good. I could eat those out of a bag. I was expecting it to be on a bowl of rice, but no. No, it was crispy. It was like, a, it was truly like a, yeah, a chip. Those were good. And then the um, the actual Korean barbecue aspect of it, Michael and I were adventurous enough to try the squid and octopus, which I've had octopus before, and I actually do enjoy mm. octopus. I enjoyed the the octopus, not not so much the squid. I mean, they were both fine. I thought they were both good. And then we had um, shrimp, shrimp, pork, uh -huh. which was delicious. Pork, pork belly, and then I had beef by itself and then the rest of the table had a marinated beef mm -hmm. um with that was marinated in 20 for 24 hours and soy sauce um brown sugar apple and pear and michael can speak to that that was very good just to have the hints of uh, apple and pear in there mm. um it was it was cooked really well too and yeah it was overall all the food so far i don't think i've had anything Bad. Yeah. And then for dessert, we shared the mango and matcha ice cream, and Michael got a special birthday treat. I did. Uh, mousse cake. Chocolate mousse cake, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was that was good too. But I, I think I preferred the mango ice cream. Yeah. That was my favorite. Mango ice cream was good. So last night dinner lasted about an hour. Um, How long was this? Oh, wow. Yeah, this was around a two hour experience. So it did take um, longer than what we might have expected, but it was still a very good experience. Mm -hmm. And there's not too much going on in terms of shows tonight. So it worked, worked out. out. Yeah. This, no, we did do a uh, drinking game. 
Oh, I forgot about the drinking game. Which was, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know, but it was it was really fun, and I don't know how to even explain it, but you just definitely have to experience it. It so we, we were uh, our table was in a semicircle, and um, we counted one, two, three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. but you cannot say the numbers three, six, or nine. So you would do one, two, and then you would clap for three, four, five, clap for six, mm -hmm. and it r went around. And it's a loud restaurant. Um, it's stressful, especially when you get to thirty, which we did. And then Michael forgot that for numbers like 33, there's two forbidden numbers, two threes. So you <laughs> clap twice and so he, he had to take a drink. But the winner, which was neither of us. No, I came in second place. Yeah, um, had to take two shots to yeah. win so, so. Or because of the, the winner. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Sat with some really nice people. Absolutely. Um, no, overall, great experience. Just super loud in there. Yes, very loud. and they want it to be loud so yeah. there's a lot of shouting from the wait staff a lot of encouraging of shouting to the to the sailors as they call us um but still a very fun experience yeah it was it was good so you know some of the clips that i did take from there they're probably not going to be great so we'll see yeah but overall good definitely recommend making a reservation for gumbe We made it to the galley for our sea day breakfast. I went to Diner and Dash. I ordered the egg white frittata and the chicken sausage, which came out very quickly. I did ask uh, for the gluten-free bread that they had on their menu, but they told me to go to the daily mix. Um, so I did go over there, get gluten-free bread. Um, they do have gluten-free bagels, so I'm going to have to check that out because they had all the accoutrement to go with it as well. And I also picked up some fruit and yogurt from Bento Baby. <laughs> and I went to the taco place to get chorizo burritos. It's a little small, but that's okay because I'm going to go to the Diner Dash too. <laughs> <laughs> and Diner Dash uh, serves 24-hour breakfast. Oh, so yeah, yeah. if you like a breakfast for dinner moment, then Virgin's got you covered. And Diner Dash is like actually right behind Claire. Yes. And then the Bento Baby place is uh, right over here to my left. And um, they also have obviously, you know, rolls and, and I don't know if they have sushi or sashimi. They do, uh, for lunch rolls. and dinner. Okay, cool. Yeah. So it's really it's sushi, just a, uh, sushi rolls, not sushimi. Right. And it's just a quick grab and go. Yes. So, so that's, that's a nice option. And then they also, for additional grab and go, have prepared salads and sandwiches as well. Yeah, and uh, it's a sea day today, so it's a little busy. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's the ship still, this, this area is still handling the, the crowd very well. Yeah, we were able to find a seat pretty quickly. Yeah. Got lucky. Yeah. But, uh, no, everything looks good. As I promised, since I inhaled my <laughs> chorizo burrito, went to Diner Dash, got scrambled eggs, bacon, and hash browns. And it was quick. Very fast. I was actually going to do this little uh, table service yeah. thing here, but. Uh, raise the flag yeah, you just, and uh, the crew will come serve you and check out the menu. Yeah, which is a pretty neat feature. Yeah. But I was like, nah, I was fast enough to do this. And uh, I guess one thing to mention is that you don't, it's not like a typical buffet where you grab the stuff yourself. Correct, you're served. You're served, yeah, behind the counter. Yeah. So you don't have to touch any of the serving utensils or anything like that, which is yes. nice. It is. And it's honestly pretty quick. It might be quicker than people, you yeah. know, putting like four or five scoops of it's food true, on their plate. Because the lines go very fast, yeah, much faster do. than buffet lines, honestly. Uh, yeah, I think so too. Well, after uh, making a mistake on which side of the ship we were on, we found the dock. I think we would have stayed inside. <laughs> But we're outside, which is really nice. And we're in this cool little, uh, I don't know what you call this. What, I'm not really space? sure, outdoor space. So it's, it's an outdoor lounge. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then we got the, some- After the ship. Small bites, open fire grill, 
Got some grilled shrimp and uh, got a hanger steak and Claire got some octopus. Yeah, the shrimp and octopus. <laughs> and got some interesting drinks, so yeah. see how that goes. Try it out. And then sitting right next to this plant of the irrigation system <laughs> just turned on. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, well, our bites have arrived. Looks like I got the chicken, chicken something, fire, fire roasted, roasted chicken, chicken thigh, followed by the hanger steak. Here's the octopus, and then the grilled shrimp. And then we got these cool drinks too. So this is the- The grapevine. Grapevine, and then fig sour or yeah. something like that. So, well, all the stuff looks pretty good. How's that drink? It tastes a little bit like wine. <laughs> grapevine. Yeah. I can see where the name came from. It's muddled grape, it said. So, I guess it's like wine. It's pretty good. It has vodka. It's pretty good. <laughs> the food, the small bites, was really good. It was like perfect because we're just like two and a half, three hours from dinner. Didn't want yeah, to it's a good you. amount. The but shrimp. we didn't eat lunch either, so. Shrimp was good. I thought the roasted chicken was good. I mean, the all of it was good. Huh? Yeah, that I was mean, octopus. I, I enjoyed the octopus. I thought the shrimp had just really different flavors that we don't normally have that went really yeah. well together. And my fig sour is a chugger. It's, it's really good. That's <laughs> one drink I would definitely recommend. So this place is cool. Luckily, it's nice outside. Slight little breeze. Yeah. Definitely a good spot to hang out and get some small bites. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just like to mention that ordering through this thing or just putting the flag up is super cool. Yeah. So convenient. And the wait staff comes to you within like a minute, takes your order. And then they put it back down. And come uh, back and see if you need anything else. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's I'm a glad, huge perk. Glad we tried that. Yeah. Yeah, see, so here's the rest of the space. So it's, it's quite nice. Ooh, they even have these beds right here. That's crazy. You didn't even notice that before. But uh, it's a really nice spot to hang out. And here's where we were sitting. So pretty cool. And just like that, we are ready for dinner. Going to uh, Pink Agave. Got our pink outfits on. <laughs> Rich, get your pink outfit. <laughs> Amazon's finest. <laughs> Here's our first round of appetizers. Got guacamole. And then I got uh, fresca, which is, I don't remember. Make me look it up. So while Claire looks that up, her drink is, has rosemary leaf in it. Uh, mine is Patron, St. Germain, carrot, orange, and ginger. And Michael's is uh, vodka, green chili, cucumber, and lemon. Both very good, but this looks good too. Yeah, it does. Look at that. Okay, the rest of the appetizers here. We got the papas con chorizo. And then we got esquites, which is just Street corn. corn. And then shrimp. She talked me into getting the shrimp pasta yeah. Camino with mole sauce. Camarones. So the guacamole was good. It was good. Now, shrimp. Good. Had shrimp earlier today, too. <laughs> this beats those. <laughs> Which those are very good, too. Main course has arrived, and I got the ribeye, and then Claire got. I got. Pork where is something? it on the? She didn't the, get tortillas the though. Chochanita Pabil, which is smoked pork and sour orange habanero pico de gallo. Huh. So I'm excited. It looks so everything's delicious. been. Awesome. Yes. All the appetizers I, were freaking loved awesome. It. Loved it. So this looks really good though. And then we both got these drinks. The frescoes. <laughs> the frescoes, the second round. They're 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 really amazing. Good. Amazing. A dessert. Look at these chocolate tacos. And then I'm not even gonna pronounce this correctly. It's so all that clear. Chocolate. <laughs> so gluten free. The only one on there, but it looks good. Oh, the it's waitress's like a, favorite. It's like a oh. chocolate melting cake. What? Mm. 
All chocolate, huh? <laughs> oh, so good. All right, so ordered, started out with a cheddar, jalapeno cheddar croissant and an apple something. I don't know, some kind of pastry, but Claire got a... Banana chocolate muffin. Gluten-free, so that's cool. And it looks delicious. And then I did order a flat white, but it's kind of strange that it's in a glass cup because it's kind of hot to hold. <laughs> Totally not what I expected, but this is the watermelon something. <laughs> and then sorry, got avocado toast and gluten-free bread. Breakfast here. Pretty much got uh, eggs over hard, some potatoes, bacon, Ooh, got French fries. <laughs> she talked me and into them. Sorry, <laughs> got basically the same thing, but she got scrambled eggs instead. And the actual sausage patty is a possible sausage patty. Yeah, so Razzle Dazzle is largely a vegetarian restaurant with meat items added. So um, this, the, the patty is impossible. So it's not a, a red meat. Yep, right. Here's one of the uh, places to eat. So I don't know, here's what they're serving. Caribbean rice and black beans. Red snapper mango ceviche. Yeah, I might try that. That looks good. Yeah, that's And then they alley. have a, a nice little seating area. Oh, and uh, sodas. Oh, they got a soda a machine over there. That sounds good right cool. now. And then the bar is back there. I think Another there's bar. a bar over here with canned drinks. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This looks pretty good, but they have the um, beans and rice. And then I also got the jerk chicken thigh. So, and then Claire over there started out with a salad. The ceviche. Huh? Ceviche. Oh, that's the snapper ceviche? Mm -hmm. How is it? It's pretty good. The only thing is, I wish I had something salty like tortilla chips or something to go with it. Oh, uh, I thought but, they had um, some chips over there. Oh, maybe I just didn't. I don't yeah. know. That, that would really complete it. And then oh, check out this little spinny thing to keep away bugs and birds. In fact, there's really no birds hanging around anybody's food, so that's really nice. No uh, roosters either. <laughs> yeah, and roosters that we came across at Coco Key. Oh man, finally get tried the pizza. I know. That looks, man. What you? What is that? I got the chicken pesto. That looks good. It does look good. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm not is it just a normal like gluten-free crust or is it cauliflower? What's the deal? I think it's just gluten-free. I've never seen this before. It's, it's quite good. <laughs> Smells really good. So I've noticed everybody gets a full pizza, like not just the weird people like me. So they're more of like a reasonable size to eat. Huh. But I'll still share with my phone. Mm. Okay, my turn. Mm. It's pretty good. Crust is kind of like a cracker though. <laughs> but it's that. not over baked either it's not yeah. like i mean at least it's not falling apart <laughs> but the uh the chicken pesto stuff's good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right we got their homemade bread and then claire got gluten-free bread and then we got some butter here garlic butter Okay, so I got the clam chowder again, like I did the other day, but Claire got... That was adventurous. A little marrow. adventurous bone marrow. <laughs> it's pretty neat. Oh, yeah, and we got glasses of Stag's Leap. Served from a Magnum bottle. That's pretty cool. All right, so dinner's here. We both got the filet. Uh, see? And uh, crispy polenta. <laughs> French fries. And over there, Claire got asparagus. So, 
Yes, last dinner, unfortunately. Lots of food. Yeah. 